passport, control, vehicle, check, everything. Um, but anyway, we drove through all that and Jules now buying the vignettes for the car and we need a, another sort of a Rotex. Um, it's three euros for seven days, so it, it's nothing, but you need it. It's mandatory in, uh, in Romania to drive on, the, on their roads. Good morning. It's eight o'clock and we're packing up to leave um, to Dracula's castle, De Bram's castle, that's what it's called. This is our campsite that we stayed at last night. It's very pretty. First, I didn't like it so much yesterday because uh, you can, I don't think you can see it, but there's a house there in the in the forest. But actually, I think it turned out nobody's there um, because there weren't any lights or anything. There's some somebody's place here, but it looks abandoned. Nobody came, and um, <laughs> there's definitely a house on the other side of the hill because there was live music the whole night. Romanian traditional music didn't keep us up though. It was just far enough away. But uh, yeah, this was our setup. Today I'm very excited to do some touristy things, which we didn't do, only Biblos so far. And this will be the second thing. And after that, unfortunately, we have to really start driving home because on Tuesday we have an appointment at the municipality. And I think at the moment we're still 2,000 kilometers from home. Entering the castle. Brand Castle is located really cool. It's on top of a cliff. This was Queen Maria of Romania's bedroom. And these doors are the oldest doors left in the building. 1692? 93. Quite a pretty bedroom. What did you think of Bran Castle? Nice. <laughs> that, I don't know. That's it? Okay, she thought it's nice. I thought it was pretty awesome. But... I'm gonna say something that's not very nice. For the most beautiful castle in Romania. I expected a little bit more. I don't know, I had... How is the castle called in... Neuschwanstein. No, it's no. You said not. That's what I said, and then you said no. It's it's not. That's Harry Potter. No, that's science. Oh, okay. Neues Schwanstein. Um, I don't know. I had something like that in my yeah, mind. Like okay. And then it's I don't know. Maybe a little bit disappointing, but it was nice. I like the special exhibition that they did on the Romanian mythology. That I found very interesting. And it was nice to see the castle. Ah, it doesn't show it here. No horse and carriage. Just before the turn off, it also said you're not allowed to put your carriage to push your carriage yourself. <laughs> I thought that was kind of implied when there's no horse and carriage. We didn't know there were actual highways in Romania, but apparently there are. We found finally them. <laughs> after I don't know two full days of driving in Romania. We 
finally found a real highway. On our way to another castle that we're gonna visit tomorrow morning, we uh, were looking for a campsite. We were a bit tired, so we stopped early today. And she said a few days back, I would really like to camp next to a river. <laughs> so I, I saw this place on, uh, on maps and I was like, okay, we can try. <laughs> so we found this awesome, awesome place. Look at it. Like we are in the U bend of a river. Yeah, we're basically out of sight from anyone here. I think so. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna camp right here because we're not bothering anyone we're not near anyone's land nor inside of anyone's house so we're gonna drink a beer we're gonna enjoy our afternoon here and the good news is that for the first time since we left jordan basically was it warm in jordan i don't remember i think for the first time camping since we arrived in turkey it's warm it's warm! I think we can have a shower. <laughs> we made some friends with the local dog population. <laughs> sure, what the fuck did you do? I gave them some meat. This is Corvin's castle. Oh, cool. What do you think of the castle? Impressive. Yeah. It looks like a real castle, right? The castle itself is beautiful, but the information is rather poor. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And there are const and construction. Yeah, but that but has to be done at some point. Most like we are in Saudi with all the big cars. But here in Hungary, because the fuel is so cheap, it's not so cheap. Well, cheaper than the, okay. the surrounding countries. It's one euro, one euro twenty-five. So okay, not so cheap, but much cheaper than in the surrounding countries. You can only take a hundred liters per day um, per gas station. Per gas station. So. This place is really awesome. We found a really cool place and we already saw maybe 11, 11 deer or 12 deer driving in here. So I have good hopes that we will see some deer if I don't fall on the horn of the car again <laughs> because that sure scared them away. So we are enjoying a beer with this view. That is pretty spectacular. We did a really long drive today. I didn't feel much. Cheers. Cheers. From tomorrow, I think we only have to drive around 400, 450 kilometers per day, right? More or less, yeah. More or less. So this is good. And uh, we found a place to stay in Hungary. I don't know what the rules in Hungary are for wild camping, but I assume it's like the other countries. 
if you don't bother anyone and you clean up after yourself, it's okay. I don't think anyone will pass here. Maybe tomorrow morning, but that doesn't matter because then we already slept anyway. So, uh, let's see. I think we're gonna enjoy the evening. can say it. We're, We're in Austria! In Austria. <laughs> Made it! Only two more countries to go after this one. Germany, Netherlands. We're getting closer. It's exactly 1100 kilometers from here to my parents' house. And we have two and a half days. the museum in Nuremberg so the parking lot is inside where the rallies were organized from Nazi Germany uh, in the war and before the war we're gonna think where we're gonna stay tonight somewhere at the campsite it's only four I think we'll drive maybe one hour more in the meantime you can search for the and then we'll find a campground on our way to my parents' place. So they're renovating this whole museum at the moment. So they only had um, a small exhibition. But I actually thought it was quite interesting, although it was very busy. Maybe because today was the day of museums? Or what did they say? Something like that, right? It was International Museum Day or something like that. So it, it was for free. The entrance was for free. But um, yeah, I thought it was quite interesting, the temporary exhibition that they had. back in Europe! <laughs> We're it's raining! We're four hours from the Netherlands and it rains. I was just saying to Jill that this is very... It's just... I don't know, it's just sad. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the sun from Saudi? We had sun all the way. All the way. Yep. And I, I keep wearing my sunglasses because I hope it will bring out the sun, but uh, I'm not sure if that's gonna happen. I suppose this is how it's supposed to be, right? After eight years coming back to the Netherlands, being welcomed with rain. Although it's still in Germany. One and a half hour to go and we're at my... Oh no, we're at the supermarket close to my parents' place. I'm gonna miss Saudi. And you are gonna go back. I'm not looking forward to it at the moment. No? Why? It's just three weeks on my own there. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> you can go to Lulu and get um, lots of uh, homemade food from there. Made shawarma. 
Oh, I hope you're not gonna eat that for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that would be very healthy. No. Definitely not for three weeks, but definitely I'm gonna order it once or twice. Oh, I'm jealous, bitch. One that's my favorite. Whoa, I can't hear myself think anymore. We're getting a bit bored. Hey, and this is not in German anymore. Welcome in Gelderland. Welcome in Gelderland. Oh wait, wait, I see the signs for the Netherlands. Ho, 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 ho. We are in Dutch residential register or however that's called I have no idea so from tomorrow 12 10. 10 we are official residents in the Netherlands again but at the moment I am without <laughs> residential place and Jewel is still a Saudi resident but we made it signs in Dutch It smells like like my area in the Netherlands. It smells like shit. <laughs> don't tell my people that I said that. That's really bad. I don't think. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> we we are not allowed to go in here. Let's see. Oh man. Challenge accepted. Oh man. What <laughs> film? Uh, nothing in particular. <laughs> my beautiful area where I grew up in the Netherlands. It's called the Achterhoek, which means... It's a crazy corner. No, <laughs> it means it's a corner far away from the rest of the Netherlands. And it is, but it's really, really beautiful. 